Yes, that's what. Oh, okay. And yeah. Tabitha Jones with the touchdown that's pass to Amber about. Brooks. Yeah. She puts one in the dirt. He's looking for something. He takes the step back, step through. Hey. And it's good for the game winner, Peyton Hardy. That's what I'm talking about. This team rallying around him. Hello, Jaguars, and welcome back to Jaguar Sports Talk Nation. I am Claude Martinez, studio producer and host of today's episode. We have an interview with the coach of the men's soccer team, head coach Eggers, and he will be joining us to talk about how the men's soccer team are training and planning for this upcoming 2021 spring soccer season. Thank you, Coach Eggers, for coming out today. And uh, how are you doing? Uh, it's been uh, great. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's been uh, a challenging year for everyone, but uh, I'm super excited to, to finally get going. I know it's good to see that men's soccer is coming back, even though it got pushed back the next uh, semester. But uh, what are your thoughts about this new spring soccer semester? I couldn't be more excited. Uh, we have 10 uh, dynamic new additions to, to the team, uh, coupled with uh, some fantastic returners. I think we're poised to have uh, an exciting, fantastic, successful year. It looks like you have a new home field for this. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about where that is and uh, what's going on with that? Absolutely. Uh, you know, Governor State University uh, has uh, done a fantastic job supporting us. Uh, we scoured the, the area looking for uh, the best college level facility we could find uh, given the COVID environment. And we're excited to partner with Crown Point uh, Sportsplex in Crown Point, Indiana. Uh, to have our own uh, turf uh, stadium uh, lighted facility with uh, press box, scoreboard, everything. So we're really excited to have that as the home of the Jaguars moving forward. It's always good to see the new home field, especially this is your second season. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. But um, now, how did your players uh, train during this off season? Did they do certain runs? Did they do certain drills? How did that work? Well, I have a, a fantastic uh, staff, and I couldn't, couldn't work without them, and they're fantastically uh, experts uh, when it comes to adapting uh, the, to the rules of COVID. So uh, we did everything from individualized workouts to stream, Zoom, uh, groups, things. And then uh, when we got back together in the fall uh, with the ERTs, the GSUs, enhanced uh, protection systems, we felt very safe and confident we could have in-person practices. Well, that's good that you can have some in-person practices. Um, is how do you think COVID impacted those practices and how do you think COVID will impact your year? Hopefully it impacts it uh, positively uh, as a good thing, not the... Uh... It's a great question. I mean, I think that uh, the world is really having to adjust on the fly and I think the, the sports world is no different. I think there's been some strong leadership at the NEIA that has put forth protocols. We have a fantastic training staff uh, that has implemented them with great integrity and um, it's been really fantastic to see how everyone has come together, pulled together uh, with, the tr with the protocols that have kept us safe. You know, as far as advantages, I don't know if there's any advantage in a pandemic, but uh, other to say that uh, uh, we've had a real dedicated, mature group of guys that uh, maybe when other people may be losing their focus, we definitely haven't. Um, there was some questions I talked about with Coach Bates on one of our other past uh, interviews. Now, he talked about how to keep players safe. Now, how do you plan on keeping your uh, men's soccer players safe during this time? Well, we're really lucky to have Coach Bates uh, as not only an athletic director, but you know, one of our senior mentor coaches with a ton of experience. We really lean on Tori Perez, our, our head trainer, who has spent countless hours uh, parlaying with uh, Vice Pre President McGinnis and our ERT at the school, our emergency response team and uh, followed the, really the leadership of the NEIA and the CCAC uh, when it comes to setting forth protocols that we follow with due diligence every day. What is one of these protocols, do you know specifically, do mm -hmm. players have to get tested before a season? Do they gotta go uh, get checked before a game? So we have uh, an enhanced protocol system where every day we're uh, going through a checklist uh, for symptoms, checking temperatures. Uh, we have a, a radar system and if anyone has any potential symptoms, we don't wait to see if they're positive or not. We're removing them from the scenario, uh, making sure that they're seeing the appropriate healthcare providers. And then depending on whether they're positive for COVID or not, we make decisions that are in the best interest for the safety of the team. 
Well, that's great to hear. I know here at even in the TV studio, we do the sort of same sort of protocols. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to go to a real quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about some of the recruitment plans that uh, the men's soccer team did and their outlook for this upcoming 2021 spring soccer season. We'll see you in a couple seconds. Governor State University Safe Campus just got safer with the Live Safe app. The Live Safe mobile app keeps our campus secured and your loved ones in the loop. With features like virtual escort and digital tip submissions, campus safety is easier than ever. So if you see something, say something. Download your safety app through Apple's App Store or Google Play. Let's work together to keep GSU safe. Welcome back, Jaguars. We're still interviewing Coach Matt from the men's soccer team. And now we're gonna talk about a little bit about his recruitment plans over this past spring year. Now, during the COVID time, obviously you had another semester to recruit. And I assumed you were looking at all sort of potential athletes that could come across. I looked at the roster and you had athletes from really around the world. Now, what were, what were those sort of roles you were choosing? Were you choosing fast players, strong players? Uh, what were you looking for? It's a great question, and, that, and the way I answer it is that we were looking for effective players, right? We, we have a good core group of individuals that uh, have been steadily improving over the last 18 months. We knew that we needed a few key people, so we were looking for people that fit our system, our philosophy, uh, and would really complement the players that we already had here. And we were excited to bring in about 10 players from four or five different countries, uh, mixed in with some local local players as well. So it's a fantastic mix of, you know, exciting youth and, you know, sage experience. Yeah, it was great to see last year because it was the first year GSU men's soccer debuted here at Governor State, which was an exciting season because you made a playoff run. Now, how do you think those returning veteran players are going to be a strength to your core and help be leadership to all the new Jaguars coming on in? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was, a, it was a great accomplishment. I was really, really proud of my staff and my players for really uh, putting a team together in, in just three months and making the playoffs in its first time. But I think the biggest advantage we have is uh, the day after we, we, we ended the season, they were 10 times as hungry as they were coming in the first year. So uh, sometimes you have to get there first to get a taste of it. And uh, I think we definitely are addicted to winning now. And uh, I think you see that coming through with the intensity and in practice and the togetherness of the team. Now, I did see that you signed a midfielder and a goalkeeper. Now, why did you decide to pick those sort of uh, new positions up this year? I think, you know, we talked about, you know, that we wanted to bring in some complimentary players and we knew we needed to get a little bit more experience uh, and ability up through the middle of the field. Um, and we did just that. So we focused on the middle of the field. It would really complement the players that we had here. We have some fantastic returning players. You know, Luis Ramirez uh, is a great pickup as an example. Uh, fantastic leader from Division II Salem University uh, via Lima, Peru. Uh, he brings a fantastic background and real command of the back line uh, that I think will really strengthen uh, our defense moving forward. What do you think your goals are going to be this year compared to last year? What are you going to change up? Well, you know, uh, I think every year uh, there's one thing for certain is that uh, our conference, the CCAC, improves. You know, it's fantastic to see, you know, from 10 years ago, my first taste in, in this conference into where it is right now. I think it's, it's related. You can see it in the, uh, the, the rankings every year. It grow higher and higher. We've had our first you know, top 10 team in the nation last year in our conference. So I think that the conference we know is getting much, much better, but so are we. You know, our, our goals going forward definitely are, are to win and win now. You know, uh, we had a year to organize things. Um, you know, we are humble to the fact that the conference is very challenging, but, you know, we expect to win championships year in, year out from here on out. That's great to hear. Winning is always, uh, what's it, winning is addictive, I think is the saying. Now, the last question that I had for you, where can uh, GSU Jaguars find you or your men's soccer team social media pages? Uh, you know, great question. You know, social media is a huge part uh, of our outreach here. Uh, you can find our Instagram page or GSU Jaguars uh, men's and women's soccer team on Instagram as well as Twitter. Um, we can find us posting there throughout the season. Uh, we're excited to, to partner with the school as well when it comes to social media. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing more synergy there as well. Well, thank you so much, Coach Eggert, for coming out today. And now there you have it, Jaguars, straight from our own 
men's soccer head coach, Coach Eggert. Make sure you follow all GSU stats on gsujaguars.com. We will see you next time on Jaguars Sports Talk Nation. I am Claude Martinez.